every last penny is gone every month. I'm Alyssa, my son Brayden is 10 and I have identical twin girls Ella and Maggie who are 8. Um, it's just the four of us. Um, we live in Toronto and uh, Ella has cerebral palsy. So I'm a social worker. I've been a social worker now 20 years um, and I also teach so that's also partly how I can afford to keep us going is having two jobs, uh, sometimes three. And it's kind of ironic when you work in social work because we don't make very much money and so we often find that we are in similar situations to many of our clients. It's really hard to find something accessible, safe, clean, decent neighborhood, close to you know Ella's hospitals, specialized programs, good schools. It's really hard to find that in Toronto. Um, we moved from an apartment that had stairs, and uh, so really inaccessible. As she's getting bigger, you know, transferring her in and out of her chair, taking her up and down stairs, it's really difficult. Um, she's growing, which is as she should, but it's hard on me physically to do that. And been able to have you know some help over especially with Ella she has a caregiver so my dad was able to help with that but now my dad's in long-term care so he's not able to help with the cost of that anymore it's you know it's very tight there's been some months where I've had to you know put groceries on credit cards because I didn't have anything left in my bank account to be able to get food so it's been tough. I've used, when we first moved in, all of my savings to live here. And then, yeah, like I said, just credit cards and stuff to be able to keep us going.